Hello guys and welcome uh, to another What's the Colour episode and tutorial thing, I guess. And um, first of all I want to apologise for not uploading for over a week. I have been busy. They're very busy. Um, second of all, you might be able to see it, what we're gonna do right now. So I have my What's the Colours right here. And, um, this is the drawing I made earlier, and we need this, um, <laughs> because, um, basically I can't freehand this <laughs> in with my, um, brushes, and, well, yeah, so, uh, let's get started immediately, I don't know which one I want to use, I know the light is gonna come from over here, so there's gonna be darkness behind here for the hair because we're gonna basically make the hair go over here and maybe what I thought, because you have these strands of hair, right? Uh, what I thought would be cool is if we make little like um, um, shapes on at the end or something I don't know what kind of shapes that would be, but shapes um, so yeah Sorry for the lighting, by the way. I got a weaker lamp over there because my dad won the other one. So now I got an extra lamp over here that is really, really bright. Which I need to counterbalance with a really bright one over here. So I'm gonna get some new lamps. Um, <laughs> so yeah. But let's start with... Um, good question what to start with. I think I want to start with the hair in this case because we don't know where the hair is going to be and then we need to make the things and the shadows is what they're called. Um, <laughs> yeah. So normally I like to use pure colors for the hair because mixing can be a pain in the ass. Um, so I'm gonna start off with some pure colours as well, but I hope I can sort of mix it up at some point. So I'm just creating strands right here, you don't need to do it in that way. You could also make like a flat surface, that would look really cool too. Skype call. From. Okay. Yeah. I can't answer that. I want to, but I can't. Okay. Yeah. So. Let's see. Mm. Add some more pigment in here. Um. Obviously, I did not add a lot of water to it onto the surface, so the pigment's not going to spread naturally the way it would if there would be more water on it, and if I have even better um, um, pigmented paints. So, um, yeah. I'm sorry if I'm whispering or anything. I don't know. I don't have control over myself. Okay, yes I do. I do actually have some control. I mean, sometimes I just... I don't know. <laughs> Talking's difficult. Yeah. Raising the volume, however, of what I'm saying is actually pretty difficult sometimes. And sometimes I'm talking like... <laughs> Really loud, and my friend said, Holy, okay, so hopefully, I fixed that in this way. <laughs> <laughs> there is no way to know for sure but to test it, right? So, moving on. Um, yeah. 
I'm gonna do this somewhat quickly though, because honestly I don't have the time. I do, but I mean the camera does not. Okay, so yeah, so let's just do that, I guess. We'll bump these strands right into our next color, which will be... I don't know, I want the purple, actually. I don't know if I can do that. It just seems like, yeah, all these loose hands right there, that's nice. Um, also I want one single strand right here. Oh, which is turning into multiple strands. <laughs> Let's see. I want to take another brush to do that. I don't know if you could hear my dad. Really don't. I hope you can. Color of the hair actually because this is all. It's better. Okay, next up, next color will be probably a mix, and it will be between the blue, which we used earlier, this one. Mixing all my palettes. I know you can't see my palette, but you can at least see my colors. So I'm taking the ultramarine blue, putting it on my palette, and then after that, I'll take some red and create a nice purple. And I'm gonna take the I forget the name of this red all the time, but any red will do except for the ones on the orange side so <coughs> excuse me do not use cadmium red so i'm using this one right here i don't know what it's called i need to study these names like the color names Okay, there's a nice intense color actually. On the painting, it's not so much of a nice intense color anymore. But it was on the palette. <laughs> well, it's not like it's looking bad. There we go. And then actually what I'm going to do is add some of this to the, um, the edges of this because this will be our shade. I hope we can do this precisely because I want to kind of have the not baboon like face. Um, <laughs> there we 
go. And let's just drag it on out. Like this. And take some more pigments. And actually, we're gonna mix it into something else right here. Also, I suggest you use a smaller brush if you have one at hand. I have one. I'm just lazy, and also I need to work quickly to be able to finish this in like 57 minutes. Because that's all the time I have to do this, so, um, yeah. There we go. I'm switching to the smaller brush, though, because this is annoying me. Uh, so, let's take some more of this. This brush is, I don't know if it is an acrylic or a watercolor brush. Um, I know it's working for me, it's what it is. And <laughs> it is not of a particularly good brand or anything, I just like it. I don't know what to think of this right now. I really don't. I just hope it works out. That's all I hope for. Um, so yeah. Let's blend this into our red. I want to use this red. My favorite color. This is, I don't know, it's my favorite color on the palette. I don't know why, but I like it a lot. Um, yeah. As you can see, I have no fucking clue what I'm doing. I'm just doing shit and trying to make it look good and... Yeah. I don't know watercolor blending techniques. I just do things. <laughs> that is how I roll. Okay, so that, that is uh, quite okay, I guess. Um, actually, what I want to achieve is to make this uh, over here. That'll be a strand of hair, and then. above that. Here we go. I really like how the cadmium seems like an orange. <laughs> I 
Now leave some white spots as well. Hair has some white spots in it, or at least highlights. Which I'm just create like this. Um because I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. <laughs> Do you don't have to because it's art and you have this artist license according to Bob Ross that grants you the freedom to do anything you want. And yes, there are gonna be people judging you. I mean don't get yourself, people are gonna be judging you. Unfortunately some of them will say they don't like it. Well then you just have to be the bigger man in that and say Well, Fuck you. Basically, that's what you have to do, I guess. They're not literally... Like, do not literally tell them to go fuck themselves. That is not a good idea. Always try to remain friends with people, even if you don't like them. Especially teachers. If you want to remain friends with teachers, I promise you, you want to do that. Um, <laughs> because teachers can be a real pain in the butt sometimes, but, you know, they are the ones that are gonna grate you, and if you have been a dick, then they are more likely to give you a lower grade on questions that, like, where you answered sort of right, sort of wrong, I mean, those questions do exist, and unfortunately there will be teachers judging you in an unfair way if you mistreat them. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, this might not look like something that is going somewhere, and to be honest, I don't know where this is going. Um, but I mean, it's odd. Let's have some fun, right? Hmm. Uh, for the lime yellow or whatever yellow you're using, lemon yellow, not lime. Um, try to pick up a lot of pigment because it might not show up that well. Okay, that's almost neon though. Make some green right here. Um, I am going to mix it with uh, lemon yellow. If it is lime yellow, please tell me because I don't know. It is a light shade of yellow. I know that. I'm really proud to know that, you know. You know, move on. Uh, 
There we go. Actually, I like the effect that that little, little strand in the yellow has. Let's see if I could recreate that with some of my other colors as well. Looks a lot more natural, doesn't it? Let's see. Grab some of the cadmium. I still blend things out even though I'm not working with acrylics, which I don't know if that is the thing to do, but I do it anyway. I got some purple. looks really cool. Um, let's actually use that with the blue right here. Yeah, that's cool. And actually, there's gonna be a little strand of blue hanging in front of her face like this. Like that, I said. No, 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 no. Okay. I need more pigment. I need to be more stable. There we go. Very nice. <clears throat> I don't know if the yellow is strong enough to show up on the green. Yes, it is actually. Nice. Like that, and I also want some of the cadmium to show up on the green. There we go. Um, the green has been a little uh, dried out for now, so let's see if I can add some more and kind of fix that. So I could mix it again. So, like that, and then inside the brush, and go into this and get some of this because this is going to be the next color. We're gonna use I really love this color. There are like two colors on my palette that I could not live without. It's this one and the the bottom red right here. need to redo the, this blue one more time, but I'll do that when it's dry. And, um, let's see, I'll keep this wet. Blue. Yes, obviously, our 
твою из Алса. Mm -hmm. well, because we don't need any more. This is my lighter blue. Take some of our blue right here and flow oh yeah. into our green. Our blue green, I want to call it. I really love that color. <laughs> there we go. There we go, and also one more strand over here. Actually, I had a little of this over there as well. There we go. And let's redo this blue thing right here. There we go. I'm doubting if I want to do the shapes over here. But look, quite cool, but at the same time, I think it could ruin it. So I'm not going to. But what we could do. Uh, I want to do something with the paint's great, but I guess I'm going to use that in the face. So. Mm. That'll be okay. Well, you could leave it like this, and do this with soft pastels, which I think I might do actually. Um, I don't know. Well, I know the lips are not going to be in soft pastels anyway, so let's do those. Bottom one. Let's just add a little, a little cadmium. Just uh, separate the two of it. So I want to leave little highlights on the lips, and you guys now have that. It's okay, well, it's quite okay actually, what you're seeing. <coughs> so yeah. 
Um, also, I think one thing I can do with this is this. Whispering, I'm like literally whispering. So <laughs> the facial contours, what to do those? Color as well. Lots of colors. Let's see. Like that. That's good enough. I don't know what color I want her eyebrows to be. Um, but I will do that in this as well, um, also, let's make the nostril, no, darker, like that. her eyebrows to be. They could kind of also be this. Just to balance out the fact that she has a lot of colour on her already, just by the hair. That's more to this. I could really pick up some pigment. And if you really want to go into some finer detail on the eyebrows, I suggest you use something. People normally use a credit card scraper, but get what? guess what? I don't have a credit card. So what I use is this thing. I have no clue what it is. I don't know where I found it. But I know it works. That's what I know. I'm not going to see this, though. So let's use it over here. And on the lips it actually gives quite a bit of effect. There we go. Unfortunately this is not wet anymore, so you can't use it, but it makes creases in the paper which causes the pigment and the water to basically settle down in the creases so wherever you make these lines it it will become darker oh hiccups well wow. so yeah that's the theory behind that one um <laughs> Now we need it to dry to work with the soft pastels, I guess. Or pastels. Pastels, pastel. Pastels. Let me Google that while I'm waiting for it to dry, okay? You won't notice that I'm waiting, but <laughs> I will. So, see ya. Hello guys, and, um, <laughs> well, <laughs> I'm back after having let this dry, and actually, I mean, you can totally notice the difference in lighting and everything, so yeah, it is indeed the next day, I did not have, like, enough time to actually go do anything after I had recorded, so, yeah, we're starting off from here, I guess, um, I could either do uh, this with the, these, 
which I like very much for faces, but I don't know if it'll go nicely with the lighter colours on this. Or I could also try and do this in a different way, but I wouldn't know what way. So I'm gonna go with this for now. Yeah. And the nice thing about doing it in this order, because uh, I'm used to doing it in any other order, but then I thought, like... You know, these things, you could rub until it is actually faded. But when it's on, and you put this on it, and it and this overlaps the, like, the watercolor overlaps your um, soft pastels, pastels, I want to struggle with that all, all through the video. And then, well, you're pretty much done. That was it, basically. So, yeah. So I'm choosing to do this in this order. I mean, it's your choice, but I'm just saying this is better. This is clearly better. The only thing that might happen is that you lose some of the intensity of these lines. So you might have to redo them, which I don't think is a problem. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna, for the, for the face, there are more intense colors in it than you actually think there are. So, oh my god, this is stuck quite well. Um, oh. Right, so... <laughs> the crayon will not, no, it's not a crayon. The pastel will not come out of the box. Holy shit. Okay, yeah, did it. So, what you're gonna want to do is just cover everything in your white pink color. And again, don't worry if it gets on your um, watercolors because the nice thing about this is first of all you could erase it with a regular eraser you don't need anything fancy for that second of all um, you could rub it till it's gone basically I think that is basically what the eraser does too and you know you don't have to put a thick layer on this but I want a barely fair skin woman right now for this drawing painting thing because the color of the hair is really intense so we don't want a really intense kind of like this this shouldn't be the thing catching your eye although I mean I don't know they're kind of equal in my opinion the hair and the face but anyway I'm just choosing to go with this for no reason. <laughs> so, here we go. Well, this might look a bit strange to you right now, and I put it in the wrong way again. Okay, well, um, too bad. Um, so yeah, what you're gonna want to do is rub it with your fingers, just plain like this. Um, after you're done, um, I suggest you go ahead and blow at it for some time, or at least till all this powder is gone, but now, you could actually use this powder to your advantage and really make it work with the paper. Press it in, press nice and hard, I guess. Um,
as you can see, I left a little white hair, which um, you could consider a bad thing, but you could also just treat it as a highlight and go like, oh, that's well thought of, which I you know it isn't, but you know, treat it that way, it'll look better. <laughs> So, I'm sorry for the silence right there, but this is not too exciting. I promise you won't have to do this much rubbing on the other stages because we're only gonna do the borders for now. Um, because obviously this is not the only color that is in the face, although it looks quite good. <sighs> sorry if I'm in the screen. <laughs> quite okay. There we go. Yeah, I was probably in the screen. I don't know for sure. <laughs> okay, so, next color. Um, our next color will be this color. It is... You can't see it right now. Um, I have no nails. Uh, there we go. There we go. It'll be this color. I don't know what to call it. I really don't. And it is gonna be on the edges of your face. Um. Underneath the eyebrow, you want to make it quite dark. And I'm also going to define this. And continue this line like that. Underneath the hair, also quite dark. Although the way she has her hair, it doesn't really give that much shade. But, you know, <laughs> we'll make it that way anyway. And Obviously, the side where you want it to be more shaded, you want to do this. Which I'm going to have it be up there. And there's a lot of line going like this. And there's a lot of shade over here. There we go. And there's also actually a bit of shade right here. You might be looking at this guy. I can't get what the fuck is he doing? That is not how you draw a person. Well, first of all, it's a face, not a person. <laughs> and second of all, you know, this is a way to draw a person. A face, not a person. There we go. Um, if you want to colour your face with uh, markers, then go ahead, colour them with markers. I just really like this technique because somehow, it is so easy to do, and yet you get a good result. Um, so yeah, there we go. As you can see, it's automatically blending in. You don't really have to do a lot to make it blend. There we go. <sighs> OK. 
okay. Um. Uh, yeah, okay. Um. We'll use some of this brown. The, I'd call it a burnt sienna, I guess, but I don't know if this has the same name. This is like paint. I hope it does. You gotta put them where there's a lot of shadow. And you could still put some around the edges, just not a whole lot. Please don't overdo this. There we go, and along the hair as well. Okay. And some over here. And some over here. There. And then there's gonna be an even darker shade of brown on this. And I say don't overdo it. Don't underdo it though. Like, there is a fine balance in adding this brown. And of course, it'll look quite good without the brown as well. So, if you're afraid, then do not add it. I mean, it's really up to you. It really is. As you can see, this brown does add a more natural feeling to the skin. It's a bit less yellowish, and actually, what I'll do is I'll make some, put some light strokes of this on here because I really don't like the way that that is really, 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 really. <laughs> Um, pink, like, normal faces and that pink, and you could put as much on there as you like, obviously, it's your artwork, do whatever you want with it. Um, okay, so on to our last shade of brown, which is, I'd call it a raw umber. I don't know what it actually is, right? You never know. Um, and this you're gonna want to apply very, very lightly. But you, what you can, you can put it all around the edges for a, like a really defining line. Remember, everything should be rubbed in quite a strong way. Use some force. And, well, if you're using really bad pastels like I am, then um, you do not want to use that much force because it's gonna take it away. Like, it's actually gonna move your colors. And I'll actually look it into the paper. So be careful with that. And, um... There we go. I'm gonna 
do is actually indeed rub some color away from here. Which, you know, I mean, these cheap materials, they have disadvantages, but you could use them to your advantage. putting this around here because I really don't like the way this face is that pink like honestly it's just not, not natural so yeah, putting this around here I hope that'll solve it is better.